Me too, I praise you. <laughs> How many kilos did he have in this one when he was in this one? That day for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Officials from the Ministry of Education and Sports here present. <laughs> my representative, my Lord Bishop. By the way, Canon Reverend Joseph Chinto, the Education Secretary and representative of our Bishop, I want to thank you for taking us in prayer. I was worried. I hope we started. Thank you very much, and I hope it's the culture. I don't know. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Yes. Boys, do you pray? Yes. I didn't hear you sing with that energy that is normally associated with men. <laughs> Allow me, lead the leadership of this district, the chairman and members of the board of governors the chairman and members of the old student association, the headmaster and the staff of this great school, my dear students, parents, exhibitors, our colleagues from Chambogo, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not an old boy of Mwiri. I must declare that from the beginning. <laughs> But I feel I'm more with than some of the old boys of Mwiri. Why? When they started work, they, taking off asbestos from the rooftops, they forgot about my teachers. <laughs> Mr. Chair, I noted that and I felt uncomfortable. Ladies and gentlemen, when I joined the university, Many years ago, before many of you were born, my first roommate was an old boy of this school. And the guy forced me to get into love with this institution. What am I saying? So I fell in love with Mumiri. So I call it Why? The guy was all the time, all the time was smart, Good. clean, punctual, focused. And I said to myself, whenever he had an opportunity to clean our room, you would find it sparkling clean. You know, can you do you know sparkling clean? Yes. The man was clean. <laughs> the man had the a vision mm. and indeed he has lived that vision which forced me that love forced me to go back home and tell my parents who had one boy who was following me to ask them to bring that boy to Mwiri <laughs> and that boy is called Richard he did very well here. The others were about, I wish they had also been boys. I would have dragged them here because of what that boy did. The point, the boy loved his school. Whenever, every time anything good happened, he associated it with the soccer college movie. And we all fell in love with this school. The question I want to ask, are the students of Mwiri today having that love of the school. which the other boy had? Yes. Are they as disciplined as the other group was to the extent that you can even influence people to change from Budo? Because my brother had been admitted to King's College Budo. But we, we, the family chose this school because of what that boy was. Mm. Do you still have that love? Do you still have that discipline? I saw you when I came in here. I'm very observant. The way some of you are walking, I didn't see that smartness. What happened? Mm -hmm. I saw when your teacher here was talking, some of you are remembering. 
not that boy. What happened? I was told to get here at exactly 10. When we got around Ginger, somebody calls us and says, Mr. Minister, delay a little bit, we are not ready. <laughs> not during the days of that boy. What happened? That's why I feel greatly honored and I feel a lot of pressure that I've been given an opportunity to be here this morning and share with you a few things. Yeah. I want to thank the administration for organizing this career's day. Is it career exhibition day? Where I expect the organizers to have prepared a team to guide you into the various professions and opportunities and what it means to get there. During our time, whenever we would come to the university, public service would come to interview us. After I would get employed before I even graduate, those days, all of us knew that that boy and a number of them from Wiri would not even, the committee, these dead friend committees would not even bother asking many questions. This boy, when he came back, he told me the only question they asked was, What is your name? <laughs> and he got the job. The public, the country, and everybody knew the best was coming from Mwini. Is it the same? I want to thank the Church of Uganda. First of all, for founding this school and supporting it up today. I appreciate that continuing partnership with the church. This cooperation with our with the government is greatly appreciated and it's a clear manifestation of the NRM's commitment to the provision of equitable access to quality education and sports to, for all Ugandans. Our government as a program for all our schools. And what is the purpose? To make sure that all Ugandans, children of your age, go to school, stay there, come back when they are responsible, more responsible citizens, able to develop this country. This is why you find we are now pumping a lot of money in education. Our UPE program is producing wonderful results. USC program, the same thing. We have continued to build schools. This budget, if you listen very well, there is even, there is even money for revamping traditional old schools, including this one. This year alone, we operationalized, we constructed 117 secondary schools. We are going to embark on another 115 schools. The there is money we are putting in tertiary institutions. Why is government putting so much money there? Because we know you are the future of this country. You are our world. You are our wealth. You need to be prepared to develop this country. So every effort to 
help you have the best in your school, government is committed to provide it. And your duty is just to read, study, follow the what the leaders say, and please do follow it up. I've noted with appreciation the commitment of the board, the commitment of the church, the commitment of the old students, the commitment of many people to support this institution. I want to thank you very much for that. But I've also noted that God has blessed us with a lot of land but it's not being utilized to, to, learn, to learn to make money. When the headmaster was taking me around, he showed me dilapidated old buildings. I said, please don't pull them down. There are more Ugandans out there who would want to come and enjoy these facilities. Let us rehabilitate them. We are going to have them rehabilitated. But one area he didn't take me to see is where you sleep. He has assured me that everything is okay. We are safe. But I'm not going to leave this compound until I go to visit where you sleep. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> he had decided to keep my eye away, but I want to see whether the, the other boy is still within the boys who are being prepared today. You heard what happened in Kasese recently. Did you hear, boys? You didn't? That young boys and girls of your age, over 40 of them, were attacked in the school and killed. By terrorists. When this school was constructed many years ago, over 100 years ago, the vocabulary terrorism was, was not with many of us. It was not in our vocabulary. Now it is there. I want to appeal and pray to the Board of Governors and everybody here to become much more security cautious. Look at our structure, look at our system within the, system, the school. If there are any security gaps, please put them right. All of us become security conscious. We must have a secure learning environment. We want these children to be secure, we want them to be Healthy. That's why I have to visit and be assured that the school is secure and healthy for the learners. Please, please, Mr. Master, take maximum care of our children. Please, Mr. Chairman, Board of Governors, whenever you come here, make sure you visit almost every corner to check on the security of our boys. We want them because these are going to be the presidents and ministers tomorrow. Yeah. Allow me also point out, all mm -hmm. brought your attention about the undesirable occurrences of homosexuality in our education institutions. This is being fronted under the guise of promoting universal rights mm. in courts. This vice of homosexuality should not be given any opportunity to grow in our schools. I am therefore calling upon the parents, boards of governors, school administrators, and even you students to fight this vice which has started infiltrating our society, especially they are targeting the schools. Please be all of you on alert. 
We have also noted the emergence of bullying and the teasing of our new learners, especially those who are in this one. I wanted to talk with you a little bit. Does it happen here? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. I've learned that some bully the younger ones, the weak ones, this is unacceptable and it must stop. These are our brothers, these are our sisters. We expect you to treat them with respect and love. Bullying should not be accommodated in any educational institution at all. Please mentor them to become gentlemen, like the other boy who was, who was my roommate. The school administration should inculcate in the learners a spirit of brotherhood, a spirit of love, a spirit of care. The suspected culprits should be brought to book and a due process should be followed in disciplining them. I'll support you even when you dismiss, if it requires dismiss or dismiss for the sake of protecting the lives of our learners. I'm very happy to note that Pusawa College Mwiri was among those schools that were supported by the Ministry of Education and the Sports under the ADV project. That was project four. Under this project, some structures, facilities, equipment, and other supplies were provided to the college. Government is also coming up with a follow-up project targeting traditional secondary schools with a view of revamping and restoring them to their traditional glory. And this includes this school. I have already told your head teacher to make a close follow-up of this project and ensure that there is no more asbestos on any of the, the schools, all the school, all the school buildings that require refurbishing, be renovated. I'll be there to support you and to push inside master. So our college will remains among the top schools in this country. I must also say this. As oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> but I think you can still do better. Yes. Mm. Don't you think so? Yes. yes. Yeah. I know upholding this status is not an easy task. But boys, graduating from here, you must exhibit the highest standards, academic and moral. And it's possible, the other boy did it. Mm. He inspired me to love prayer. And here I am, very prayerful, because of what that boy was. Remember, the standards I'm talking about, you must be very disciplined at all times and in all situations. Don't think because you are in the playground, you are going to behave the way you want. There are certain things that need to be followed, followed strictly. It is through consistent good deeds that we build character. It may not be the most comfortable option but it's only through sacrifice that you are able to harness our full potential. You must be ambitious and aim for excellence in academics, in leadership, and service delivery. Do not wish for it. Work for it. You must be selfless and willing to serve beyond your own interests. Aim to be creative, innovative, and find solutions to the problems that are surrounding you. Please be patriotic, younger boys.
by putting your country first in all times, wherever you are. Colleagues, I address you as colleagues tonight because you are learners. And I'm also learning almost every day. We stop learning at the grave. Allow me. There was a time when Mwiri, Musoka College Mwiri used to give us city place nights. Many of you know what used to happen. Now the situation is different and we are sleepy when it's necessary. I want to thank the administration for the able leadership of this school. I hope we'll continue and let the sky be the limit. When I was going around, I saw the motto. I said I should congratulate you for keeping that motto as it is. Please continue putting God first. In all that you will be doing and train yourself to become more and more patriotic Ugandans, this country will be transformed to what you want. With those few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, my, I want to declare this exhibition open and closed at the right time. Thank you very much. <laughs>